Hi there, Coach Sage Canada of sagerunning.com here with a training talk on how to run under three hours for a marathon. So I've done a video on this before as well as other marathon training tips that I'll link to at the end of this video as well as our Boston qualifying marathon training plan on our website sagerunning.com. Uh, but first of all, I want to say, you know, this is a great goal. Uh, it's a very advanced goal for a lot of runners, a very fast time. And these tips are going to be applicable to if you want to run a Boston qualifying marathon as well. It's uh, tiered based on your age group range. So maybe your, your goal is to run under 330 or 320 for the marathon. Uh, these tips are applicable to running your potential basically in the marathon and you just have to slow down the speed and the paces of the workouts I'm gonna give you. So for a sub three hour marathon, we're talking about a 652 per mile pace or about a 416 per kilometer pace uh, for the entire race. and that's, you know, taking into account you want to be probably at sea level, low elevation, on a flat, runnable course uh, with good weather conditions. You don't want a headwind or really hot conditions. Uh, and you have to also take in enough calories to get that work output going. And so uh, I've also done a video recently on our playlist, the Training Talks playlist, on nutrition and how not to bonk for the marathon. But the other component of that is fitness. You have to have a huge aerobic engine, basically a really well-trained heart and lungs and efficient way to deliver oxygen to your muscles, but then also have the structural support, the strength in your leg muscles as well as your muscle fibers uh, to be able to pull off such a feat of running that velocity for 26.2 miles or 42 kilometers. Because let's face it, it's a really long distance race. It's going to take a uh, pretty high uh, volume training. And that's the number one tip, the number one pointer that you see most of the people we've coached to sub three hour marathons or faster, uh, either directly or indirectly through our training programs, is that they've built up this large base of running, maybe for years and years of consistent training. And usually for most people, and it depends on your talent level, but for most people, that's gonna involve uh, running at least 50 to 60 miles per week, uh, for, probably for at least several months, if not several years, uh, kind of pretty consistently and that's about what's uh, 90 to 100 kilometers per week and that's kind of almost the bare minimum uh, of volume that we see a lot of people will need some people even need more uh, if you have if you're really naturally talented you have a lot of speed maybe you could do it on less training but usually that volume and that consistency is going to give you the endurance the stamina the fat burning ability uh, and the overall strength to be able to sustain a uh, pretty steady pace for such a long distance. Because again, it's a big long distance race, mainly all aerobic energy system. Uh, you need to be super efficient from that standpoint. And the high mileage training trains the heart and lungs to make that system really efficient, as well as training the legs. Now, the second part of that, of course, besides consistency of high mileage, and that's mostly easy pace running, uh, is adding in quality specific, marathon specific workouts that are gonna fine tune your fitness and give you that edge uh, so that you're not totally out of breath, that you're, it's a manageable pace and that you don't uh, bonk or run out of energy before you get to that finish line. Uh, the first key workout that we have in a lot of our programs and it's a tried and true part of a distance runner's training process, there's more emphasis on this workout because it's a marathon race, it's a long distance race, it's a totally different ball game than a half marathon or a 10K, uh, is what we call a progression or an up-tempo run. And if you go to our website, again, we have this free pace spectrum chart, it comes with all our training plans, but up-tempo uh, is a term that uh, Sandy and I, Coach Sandy and I use. Um, that's a slightly slower intensity than true tempo run pace or lactate threshold intensity. Uh, think of it more as like a zone two type of training and it's something that is very close to your goal marathon pace. If you're around three hours flat in the marathon, uh, it might actually be slightly slower than your goal marathon pace. And the idea is to do a run, maybe it's a six mile run or a 10 kilometer run uh, to start off and start off a little bit slower than goal marathon pace, then hit goal marathon pace. So in this case, 652 per mile. Uh, and then to, to actually speed up a little bit faster at the end of the run for the last couple miles or the last three or four kilometers. Um, 
And that's a really good workout because you're running uh, and then you, you progress. So maybe uh, after a month or two, you're progressing up to doing a 10 mile or a 16 kilometer up tempo or progression run. Uh, and you're basically averaging your goal marathon pace, if not closing, finishing that run a little bit faster than goal marathon pace. And it's not an all out workout, but it's to develop getting used to running uh, that fast for extended periods, long time. And it's a great aerobic stimulus. So the next key type of workout, and this is tried and true, it's what I talked about in my half marathon training video and 5K and 10K training videos, uh, is the tempo run, lactate threshold intensity. Now, generally, you're going to get your best bang for your buck doing fairly high volume, long distance workouts at this intensity. Not just the 20 minute tempo run, but more advanced variations on that, like two mile repeats or uh, 3,200 meter repeats. Uh, and even building up to three mile repeats or five kilometer repeats. And this is gonna be closer to half marathon pace, maybe even slightly faster than half marathon pace. So for this theoretical sub three hour marathon runner, this 259 marathon runner, we're looking at running 640 uh, to 630 per mile pace for maybe uh, a series of doing three times two mile repeats or three times five kilometer repeats. Uh, pretty long distance workout and uh, that's about 405 per kilometer pace for my metric friends. So building up to doing these workouts where you're running repetitions of two to three miles or uh, four to five kilometers with a pretty short rest. Maybe you only have a five minute rest in between each of these harder efforts and it's at a pace faster than your half marathon pace. That's going to make marathon pace feel a lot more relaxed. It's going to train your aerobic system uh, closer to its capacity and really increase your fitness as well as the speed developed in your legs. Now the final type of workout, the final key workout is to add a more of an element of speed and in the case of marathon speed, it's not so much sprinting speed or running quarter mile repeats really fast or even Yazo 800s. Uh, there's an old workout saying where if you do a bunch of repeat 800 meters, I think it's 10 by 800 uh, and you run 259 for all of them with a short rest then you're in 259 marathon shape. Well. What's more specific to the marathon would actually be doing something like five times 1600 meter repeats or five times one mile and doing those maybe not quite as fast, but definitely close to uh, six minutes per mile or six flat per 1600 meters. And again, if you can't do 1600 meter or mile repeats close under 610 per mile pace, it's gonna be really, really hard to string together 26.2 miles at 652 mile pace. Uh, so getting those down closer to six flat uh, is going to be a key that's going to help get your heart rate really elevated, but also train the legs and stimulate the fast twitch muscle fibers so that you have that uh, comfortable speed and that efficiency or running economy is what we like to call it. Uh, so that when you're running the marathon, it doesn't feel like it's super fast. It's more of a controlled effort. You're running with good form. Uh, and you're not huffing and puffing too much. So adding in that element of uh, speed training, repeat 1600, four to five times 1600 meters or one mile at around six flat uh, with a very controlled three to four minute rest only. It's not a full recovery. It's more of a VO2 max type of workout, but again, unlike 5K and 10K training, it doesn't have to be as intense. It doesn't have to be as fast uh, because it's more about getting in the volume of work and developing that relative uh, speed and running economy. Uh, so those are kind of the nuts and bolts of what you need in a to reach your potential basically in a marathon training program, whether you're trying to crack three or you're trying to crack 330 and get a Boston qualifier, or even if you're trying to crack a 240, uh, these tips are applicable kind of to all those speeds in that goal range. Shit. All right, sorry guys, it got a little too windy outside the camera as you blew over, but uh, the other key workout that you're really gonna need for long runs, and again, most of the mileage, most of the stuff you're doing is at easy pace uh, intensity, like at least uh, a minute per mile or 40 seconds per kilometer slower than your marathon race pace, or even slower. Uh, a lot of relaxed running to build up your easy pace mileage, taking easy recovery days between these harder workout efforts. And the next key workout, and probably the most crucial uh, for marathon success, at least at the advanced level, would be the long run. Uh, and for this mileage range and to run under three hours for the marathon usually involves doing probably at least the 20 mile, building up to 20 mile in distance long run or 32 kilometer long run. And the key with the long run isn't to just go out there and jog it, 
and cover the distance, it's to actually do it pretty hard. It's going to be a key workout. So maybe you start off uh, at an easy pace and a relaxed pace and warm up for the first 10 miles or the first 16 kilometers on this long run. But then you start throwing down in the second half of the long run. And there's an extended stretch in there of uh, six miles or 10 miles or 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers where you're running very close to goal marathon race pace or sub three hour marathon race pace. Maybe you have a couple miles under marathon race pace and it's getting used to running fast on tired legs when you're starting to run low on glycogen essentially. And then also practicing maybe having a gel uh, with you during that long run and taking a gel uh, late in the game and experiencing scraping up against the so-called wall and feeling that uh, time of spending that amount of time out on your feet. So even if you get up to a 22 mile long run, uh, which usually if you're running, you're running the higher mileage range in our BQ plan, uh, you'll get closer to that longer long run distance. For 22 miles, um, your time for that might be three hours flat. And so you're running up to three hours as a long run. It's just, it's not an all out race. So you didn't run 26.2 miles in that duration. And, you know, again, final note, uh, these workouts uh, need to be mixed together in the proper order uh, for you really to achieve your goal. And that's what we do uh, with our marathon training plans on our website. It's really kind of the art and science of training and, you know, what pace workout you need when and how you uh, work the different energy systems in your body uh, to be able to peak at the right time for your goal race and kind of planning your schedule out. Uh, working at least 12 weeks or 16 weeks backwards even. And, you know, it's, they say when you tow the starting line of a marathon, it's a reflection of how many miles or kilometers you've run in your life uh, because everything kind of builds up to this long distance race. And that's kind of the idea uh, behind all these workouts as well as our progressive uh, aerobic base building plans. So thanks so much uh, for following along. Again, uh, really couldn't do this without the support of all you guys, all the views, all the thumbs up, uh, all the Patreon supporters, as well as my sponsor, Hoka11. Uh, again, a uh, link to uh, our playlist of uh, training talk videos, an extensive playlist we got of uh, all sorts of training tips and, and things and more to come, as well as uh, you could subscribe up here. Uh, I've got new videos. Feel free to comment below with future ideas and vote them up. And finally, a link to our Boston Marathon qualifying training plan at sagerunning.com. Uh, that's our BQ plan. Uh, again, thanks so much and stay tuned for more via 2Max Productions.